This is our fourth day in the Hawaiian coastal forest. And today I am struck, held by this light that streams into this living, breathing organism, this giant lung, out of which oxygen and life is brought back into the living world. It is almost as if it is a plankton that is in the air itself. Millions and millions of moving particles of living substance, so critical to life on Earth. And always the light, shifting, moving. It's a mesmerizing interplay of forces. dancing, weaving, and to see what emerges here, these hexagonal shapes, which are the sacred geometry of all life forms. And what we find here then too is a creature that also builds the cells in its nest in that same hexagonal shape, a shape that gives resilience and strength. Paper wasps, one of 20,000 species of true wasp. And then too, they habituate very easily to human presence if you stand still and just wait so that they can see that you're no threat to the nest. They only sting in self-defense. And the nest itself is made of paper, the female wasps scraping minute bits of wood and mixing it with the saliva and this pulp, these grains of pulp are then laid out crisscrossed, drying into a perfect paper, much in the way that human beings make paper. And inside each cell is a larva, carnivorous at that stage of its life, fed by the adults with protein. And then in turn it excretes a sweet substance on which the adult wasps sometimes feed. A wonderful living symbiosis, always perfect in arrangement. Look at the detail, the delicate structure of that mouth, the incredible strength of the wings, the bizarre functional form of the abdomen. And there you see in the mandibles, in the mouth of that wasp, that sweet substance, whether being excreted or ingested, I can't say. All in all, an incredible organism, a collective mind of creatures functioning as a remarkable whole here in this forest. <laughs>